<laughs> that, was so, that was a very funny joke that very we told. Very funny. Hi, I'm Jake Groshaw, Executive Director of Balagon Theater. And I'm Lewis Hobson, Artistic Director of the Balagon Theater. We're here today to talk about what makes Balagon so special, what everyone loves about the Balagon. But before we do that, I'd like to talk a little bit about uh, Let's call it the history. The history. Of the Balagon. Well, you know, in a nutshell, we really started in a basement. Really? Yeah, and then we moved to another basement. And right. then, uh, then we went to the Erickson Theater. Uh-huh. Had a few great years there. Great. And, and that's where I kind of jumped on that's board. Absolutely. That's where Lewis right. came into play. Uh-huh. And, uh, you know, now we're doing shows sort of all around. We're doing where, shows where, where have we done shows all around? <laughs> Well, you know, we have the Moore The Moore Theater. Theater. That's an impressive feat. I, you know, I enjoy it there mm -hmm. greatly. Uh, and we're doing shows at the Allen Theater at ACT. We're back there where mm. we started with Dr. Horrible years ago. Wow. Yeah, and uh, we're also doing shows at the Cornish Playhouse Black Box for our, you know, our smaller stuff. And we really, uh, the it's, future it's is... It's an exciting right. time. I mean, we have yeah. an article in the New York Times. I mean, Weird. really, we could talk all day about yeah. the Balagon Theater. But, but don't take, take our, our word for, for it. it. What's up guys, this is Eric Ankrum. I'm in the dressing rooms of First Date in New York right now, and I am sending my love to the Bala Gala uh, in Seattle that you guys are attending right now. This is a group of artists that throw caution to the wind and try to create something that hasn't been created in Seattle specifically, and really anywhere. They stretch themselves, they push themselves to the limit, and they take risks they are singularly focused on creating art that they are passionate about. And I've seen so many wonderful artists grow at Balagon because of their commitment for developing artists, their commitment to seeking out material that is unlike things that are being put on the stages of Seattle. I just think they are a vital and incredibly important part of the theater scene and yet they continue to thrive and find ways to tell stories with so many different types of artists and I think it's an amazing way to combine talents and bring people together in ways that maybe other theaters aren't able to do because they're not willing to take those types of risks. Balligan is extremely special to me because I uh, quit theater seven years ago and then uh, wanted to throw up in my audition for Les Miserables and fortunately didn't and got cast and they took a chance on a, pretty much an unknown actress and I'm forever thankful to them because working for Balligan has absolutely changed my life and my view of the theater scene. Hi everyone, I'm Jarek Hoffer, a.k.a. Jinx Monsoon. And I'm Richard Andreessen, a.k.a. Major Scales. And, and we, we love Balligan because... We got our start as the Vaudevillians at Balligan when it was still just a little theater in a basement underneath a cupcake shop. So please give big at the Balagala. The Balagala. Balagala. The Balagala. Thanks again, Balligan. Are you a creative artist who's looking for a new home? Is New York City your home, and you'd like to try the West Coast, but not necessarily Los Angeles? Then you ought to try Seattle. I did. I worked there recently, and I really enjoyed my experience with the Balagon Theater. The audiences are enthusiastic, and there's a great passion for the work that's being done. I wanted to make sure you all knew. They really are dedicated to taking this theater to the next the next level and um, I couldn't be prouder to be a, a part of the theater and just to watch them grow uh, it's been amazing so I would encourage anyone who is thinking about uh, donating or donating their time or money uh, buying tickets to really get involved with this theater they are doing so much good and anyone who is buying tickets or donating to a theater is in in essence is producing at that theater they are saying this is what we want to see happen more of this is what we want to be a part of this is what we want to put our time and energy into and um, I would encourage all of you to become producers at Balligan Theater in that way. Balligan captured my heart a few years ago with their fantastically fun production of Dr. Horrible's sing-along blog. Shortly after that, it was the productions of Avenue Q and Spring Awakening that really grabbed my attention as a theater lover. I thought those productions were really outstanding. The productions of Next to Normal and August Osage County really solidified my belief that Balligan was up to something uniquely special. The last several years of outstanding productions from Balligan have really solidified me 
as not only a subscriber, but a supporter of theirs as well. I encourage you to get involved, become a supporter, and most of all, get out and see a show. The golden age of musical theater is not dead. It is simply shifting with the times. And at Balligan, they understand this more than most. Balligan Theatre is currently involved with my arena rock musical Pump Up the Volume adapted from the 1990 Alan Moyle feature film. This past summer, a workshop featuring some of Seattle and Broadway's finest performers was produced in New York City under the direction of Tony Award winner Chris Catelli. This workshop proved to be one of the most rewarding experiences in my professional career thus far, um, and the overwhelming response to the piece just reaffirmed that Balligan is a force to be reckoned with, and they are not slowing down. Embrace the chaos that is Balligan and get on board, because if I was gonna be on a train, I'd wanna ride on a train that is going all over the track and not just straight forward on a, on a beaten path. These guys are in the forest and they are hacking down new paths for artists in the city and I encourage you guys to give them big old knives with your support emotionally, financially, personally. Get on the Balagon train because it's a great place to be, a great place to work, a great place to grow and I cannot wait to see what the next few years holds for this exploding company of artists that I am proud to call one of my artistic homes. Thank you.